Daryl, kind of both of you, but last time playing in Little Rock, was it on your mind going into the game for both of you and uh, you feel like you left a lasting impression? Um, I just wanted to go out there and just give them my all. Uh, knowing it was my last game, uh, I did want to play well, but that wasn't on my mind. I just had to let the game come to me, and it did. Daryl, you had uh, 15 assists in the last two games, and offense was coming a little slow on the shot. Tonight, five daggers from three, 25 points. You also had five assists. What was it like to, to finish out your career in, in a Little Rock game playing like that? Oh, it felt good to finally find my shot again. But it was a big shout out to my teammates for finding me, uh, getting me those good looks. Um, it felt good going out there tonight. Good environment, um, packed house tonight. I was I was shocked it was sold out. So it was a great environment tonight. And, and from Daryl, both of you. I feel like you, uh, as you've gotten close to the, the rankings here, I think you were 30th this week. You feel like you, I know you don't want to talk about it, but do you feel like this team has earned it? Do you feel like you're starting to get the, the attention you guys have both wanted? Um. <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean, we, we deserve more attention, but at the same time, that's not our mindset. I mean, we know physically and mentally where we should be at in the rankings and all that, so we just take every game serious. Like, it's like every game is the next big one. So, I mean, and the rankings will come. So, I mean, we not nothing we can force, so. Um, I don't really care about the rankings. You're going to fill us, so it's cool. Hey, um. Anton, you had a nice game too. Obviously, it was your last game back home. Just what, what, what did it feel like to have a nice win like that? Uh, it was a nice win. You know, the fans came out, sold it out. And uh, our guys and the coaches, we all came out with the same mindset. You know, we wanted to uh, make sure the crowd had a good, a good, good time at the game. So uh, we had a good amount of energy in the, during the game. So we just wanted to keep that up for the fans. I don't, I don't think you guys had any dunks. I know it's really not your game, but <laughs> you guys had a lot of dunks, you know, Adriel and – a lot of people like dunks. What do you guys think about the dunks tonight and the dunks on the season? Uh, I mean, it just, we just showing our, what our teammates can do. You know, they they athletic and athletic. Like, they're one of the most athletic people that I've played with in, uh, since I've been here. And, you know, uh, when we get up in our defensive stands and get stops and all that, you, can, you guys can see most of that stuff. So, uh, like I said, we got to keep our defensive energy up and just keep it going like that. I, don't, I mean, we're not, we're not finished with the dunk, so it's not really much to talk about. It's early. Okay. More dunks to come. This is a question for both of you. Um, how many family and friends did you guys have with this game? I really have no idea. I looked up there and I saw a bunch of, I guess they were my family. I, I don't think I've met them yet. <laughs> and I saw a lot of Daryl yeah. making shirts, and I was like, wow, I've yeah. never seen this person. <laughs> like, where did they get this shirt? And my mom told me before the game she was selling shirts. So I was like, I guess I get to meet my New family tonight. Uh, I'm going to go meet them. So, I do need a shirt. It looked pretty nice, but I need to meet the family I've never seen before. So. Uh, Darryl, I want you and Anton to answer this. Everybody seems to be kind of getting involved offensively. And you and Jalen, I see y'all. You're looking to get this thing and kind of spread the wealth a little bit, if you will. Is that something you've been prioritizing all um, season long? One thing about this team, we're, none of us are selfish. Um, if one person has it going on, we're going to go to him. If the other person has it going on, we're going to go to him. So we just try to try to share it, try to share the ball out there. Uh, yeah, I mean, <coughs> I mean, we all know what uh, Daryl Macon and, Jay, and Jalen Barford do for our team. You know, they're, they're one of the two of the top scorers in the nation. And, you know, and when they have go games where they have five assists apiece, you know, it just shows you that they trust in, trust in our teammates and trust in us as individuals. And uh, that, that's what's going to make our team grow in the long run. You guys had an 18 to 2 run that looked like you know, kind of knocked them out. They came back and cut it to 2019. Then you guys had a 21 to 2 run. And their coach gave, gave you a lot of credit, uh, Daryl, for, for that run. Just what, what do you guys, were you guys kind of surprised they came back at you like that? And then what was the key to, to put, putting a big run together like that again? You said, were we surprised they came back at us? Yeah. When um, they played Harvard, that they cut it to one, and then you guys. You know, yeah. beat them with a 19, you know, 21-2 to right after that. No. Uh, Coach us it was going to give us their best shot, whether it was first half or second half. So, it didn't surprise us at all. I mean, it's basketball is a game of run, so. What did you guys both think was the key to that 21-2? to two? That uh, Pretty much <coughs> put, put them away. We went on a 21-2 run? Yeah. We had. They went from 2019 to 41-21. to 21. Oh, yeah, what I think it was, we picked up our defensive uh, mindset. You know, we came out. You know, we came out with a little hit, and they came back with a hit, and then we just locked back in. And, you know, we came out. Coach called a timeout, I want to say, and then uh, he came out, told us about our defense. It was getting kind of weak. And so we just had to pick it up with that. Is there any better advertisement for being homegrown Hogs? 
blocks and get a great reception in Fayetteville reception. <coughs> Oh, it's, a, it's crazy to, where you have two gyms where both feel like home. You know, I know I'm playing in a hometown, but, you know, as my teammates, you know, it's their home too. So uh, the crowd was amazing tonight. You know, shout out to them uh, for having me sold out. And uh, just the teammates, you know, we just got to keep it going. <clears throat> Bob, I know you got another one. <laughs> Actually, speaking about the crowd, back-to-back -back games, Minnesota, Bud Walton Arena was packed, then tonight. You guys are seniors. Have you ever had back to back games in December with that kind of a turnout? I mean, this is only my second year here, so I don't I don't know what they did before I got here. But I've never played in crowds like this. I I love it. No. I just hope they keep coming out. I don't think for my freshman year with Bobby and we had this game was sold out, but the game before I don't think was sold out. You know, that that, that, that was my first time too. Having this is fun to, to play sold in. Out. Yeah. It's fun to play in. When you got fans like that, it helps us go out there and play with a lot of energy. So we're just hoping they keep coming. Anything else? You know, um, <laughs> Kato had an atypical shoot night. Good old Bob. Two, two of 11, but he gets seven boards and five assists. What <coughs> you didn't have any turnovers either. But what does that say about Jalen that, you know, he can have an off night shooting, but he still does other stuff? I mean, Jalen's a great player. He's not just a scorer. He can do it all on both ends, offense and defense. If he's not scoring, he's, he can find us, rebound, Play defense, you know. He's he's got everything in his in his arsenal.